Hey, what's up guys? Connor Comics here. Now today I have a haul of four books. Um, three I said were coming in the last haul. I was just waiting for them to arrive. So the first book that we are looking at is Daredevil Man Without Fear by Bendis and Maleev. So this is volume two. Um, as I showed in the last haul, I had volume one. So I was just waiting for volume two to arrive. Um, so yeah, uh, as I said in the last haul, I couldn't really show it in the last haul, but I picked this up because I had these two trades, which is the Ed Brubaker ones, um, and those carry on from this series. So as I said in the first one, this continues on where Daredevil is basically this myth, this legend of a kingpin of crime. Um, Kingpin is slowly working his way back up um, in the background um, and yeah I as you can see I'm only about I think like four issues in um, so I can't give my definite opinion on this but so far yeah I've really enjoyed this run um, I enjoy a lot of Daredevil um, yeah, I also wanted to pick up this run because I also had this book, which is End of Days by Bendis. And it's apparently sort of like a mini series, but it ties in. So there's a lot of Easter eggs to it. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably going to read that after I fully read through this run so that I can see what different Easter eggs or callbacks that I can notice. Uh, but, yeah, um, as I did in the first one, I'm going to show a bit of art. Um... So yeah, uh, I believe when I was reading it, it was sort of going in and out of different art styles. But now when I seem to be flicking through, it seems to be pretty consistent. Um, oh yeah, so this is what I mean. I think it's more like the different colorists that come onto the book that sort of changes the look of the book. Um, as you can see, here's a black and white cover. <laughs> well, not cover, um, scene. Uh, but yeah, they seem to have like a few different colorists on. So like the theme of the book seems to change. Well, not the theme, but the look of the book seems to change. Um, yeah, as you can see, this follows on. So collects um, 61 and 85. Um, what if Karen Page had lived and Ultimate Marvel Team Up 6 and 8. And those are the covers on the back. So yeah, Daredevil Volume 2 by Bendis and Maleev. The next two that we have, um, first one, The Walking Dead Compendium 2 and The Walking Dead Compendium 3. So as you can see by 3 it goes into Negan and this I believe it continues on from the prison. Um, so yeah, I'm not 100% sure uh, what these two books include or where the story goes from here. I believe it goes into like Negan. Um, I can't remember much of the TV show because it sort of like dropped off at about like season four because it got very boring or it kept introducing characters that I could not care less about. Um, as you can see, it's still the same style of art. So the black and white, like I said, um, that I remember Robert Kirkman came out and he did it so that... Um, so that it continues, so you more focus on the story instead of the blood and gore or the aspect of the zombies. Um, we'll show you the same of Compendium 3, but it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, so yeah, that is The Walking Dead Compendium 1 and 2 by Robert Kirkman. The final book that we have is Star Wars Heroes for, Heroes for a New Hope. Um, so you have the likes of Princess Leia. Lando and Chewbacca. I believe this collects the first six issues of each of their run. No, so the first five issues, as you can see down here. So you have Princess Leia 1 to 5, Lando 1 to 5, and Chewbacca 1 to 5. One of these is written by Mark Wade, I believe. Yeah, so Mark Wade, Charles Soule, and Jerry Duggan. So yeah, um, I was enjoying what was going on in Jason Aaron's run with Princess Leia. Lando I want to learn more about and Chewbacca is just Chewbacca, like what's not to love. Um, I believe this was a Christmas present so I haven't actually got round to reading it. Um, 
as you can see that's the art style for Princess Leia and then we get into sorry if you can hear a dog barking that's my dog outside Lando the art styles are all pretty similar I'll say that so far um, and then we get into Chewbacca yeah, so it all sort of similar um, looks to all the different art. I thought it would be like very different, but no, it seems pretty similar. Um, what I'm expecting from Chewbacca is sort of similar in a way to the Groot um, book, where like obviously he doesn't speak, but it's just a fun him going around the universe. I don't know how, what the story of Chewbacca consists of, but that's in my head what I feel the story will be like. But yeah, those are the four books that I picked up. I will return them back onto the shelf. Um, so Compendium 3 and Compendium 2. So yeah, those are the four books that I got. One more book that I got, like I said in the last one, if you're interested in Doctor Who at all, is this small quick read, which is Doctor Who I Am Dalek by Gareth Roberts. It's actually... I think 99 pages long or something. So that'll be a quick skim through and read. And yeah. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, I do want to try and get more videos up on the channel. Even if it's just like shelf overviews. Or showing different comics that I have by the same writer. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. And see you guys in another video. Peace.